It is a game of massive significance. Only four teams remain in the hunt for the Carabao Cup. Who's going to come out on top in this semi-final? Next on EA TV. Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. Only four teams are left in this cup competition. We're at the semi-final stage and this is the first leg. It's Aston Villa versus Manchester United. This should be a great tactical battle. Which team is going to have the courage to try and win the game and which team will be fearful of losing? The game plan of each coach will certainly be key today, Derek. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full back and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And the assistant referee has raised his flag offside. This is the team Manchester United will go with. Frankie de Jong plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to keep her getting the touch. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Great ball over the top. Well, the fans have been wondering how this might go. It is his debut game. Stuart, what should we be looking for from him today? Well, they've needed something different, and he will certainly offer that because his movement is clever, he makes dynamic runs, and he's a good box player. Let's hope he shows us all those qualities today. Sancho. On to De Jong. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Must take the lead here. Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in the semi final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, as you can see, not much power, but great accuracy. He made that look so easy, didn't he? So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Borja Iglesias. He could pick out a teammate. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Rashford in the middle. What a piece of finishing drilled home with true conviction tremendous goal well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and he makes no mistake with the finish he showed a lot of composure there two nil here and the ball is moving again Balogun. Chambers. McGinn. McGinn. Oh, breezing past him. And a good take under duress there. Jaden Sancho. Lisandro Martinez and the ball with Alfonso Davies Rashford he's in behind there it is a fantastic goal and no wonder he's off celebrating
Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Now, who can he play it to? Great opportunity! In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. Here tried it. Cross could be useful. Well, really, it had to be further away from the keeper. Chambers. Noddy. McGinn. Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvellous defending. And the referee's whistle, meaning that the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Villa Park. Well, truth be told, he's only had a very limited influence on this game, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's usually so clever around the edge of the box, but today he just hasn't shown that. As the touch map shows us, he hasn't had enough touches in those key areas. And the second half underway, it really was a dazzling first 45 from United. Chambers. Noddy. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And Varela with it. And nicely over the top. The Red Devils have lost the ball. Well, Chelsea have been busy in the transfer market. And the contract situation has been ironed out we could see him in action pretty soon Stuart well the reported fee of about 40 million pounds is just about right I think both clubs will feel they've done well out of this one but only time will tell oh wait a minute Stuart look what's happening palmed away by the keeper and United have the corner Now sending it in. Not away completely. Rashford. Now he's got to stay calm. Not a strong glove on the ball. The keeper. Coming off the pitch. Number 16, Colin Chambers. To be replaced by number 8, Mason Mount. Corner kick played in, and he clears the danger. This is looking threatening. Bruno Fernandes. Great defending. A 
I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Aston Villa facing Manchester United. The crossbar goes in the way. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, just take another look at this because he reacts so well and he then keeps his composure. It's a good finish. Here's a change for Manchester United. So on with the action and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Well, shielding the ball admirably. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And we have more live Premier League action coming up for you soon on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Aston Villa. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Can he put it away? Well, it really looked as though that was going to be another goal from him. Well, a chance for his second there. Probably should have done a bit better there, really. Who can they pick out? Well, the keeper very decisive. Gonzalo Inacio. And angling it back. In position. And fine goalkeeping. Who can he pick out? Well, trying his luck with the header, but too much elevation. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. Balogun took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. Frankie de Jong. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Shevchenko. Oh, surely. Able to get his body in the way. So a personnel change then. Corner kick, the referee's verdict. Now sending it in. Can he get one back? Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. The final whistle has sounded and Manchester United will go into the second leg with the lead. Well, it was a great performance, wasn't it? You could see the game plan from the first minute and they executed it so well. Surely they'll be moving into the final with another display like that. Well, really no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today. 
because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.